Hey everyone, let's talk about Frankie Rock and Vegas, which I just did a playthrough for. If you're wondering where all of the game and everything is, you can see it actually in action. Uh, it's linked in the description. This is just about what I think of it. And so I, I am a great big fan of Roland Wrights. This is less in the sense that we've got a sheet and we've got all these different things going on and we're filling these things in. The sheet is a score sheet. Uh, it's all about trying to find these combos of dice. So it's more uh, a traditional dice so well i don't know about traditional it's more like older dice games that are played than that that you're trying to find these sets of frankies and uh, have power there's either the red frankies that are the whole bodies or there's the purple or green frankies that are split into head and body so you want a matching set and some power to bring them to life and then they are worth points so it's a nice uh like like there's a, there's a dragon fighting game uh, it's not not so much zombie dice because we are trying to find sets in this but it's a nice kind of uh, push your luck dice game that you need to lock in something every time uh, but you can lock in as many as you want and you have the, the fewer that you lock in the more rolls that you've got to try and get the things that you really need and I do like that push your luck aspect that my favorite role in right octo dice is built on that uh, having to lock in some dice every time and then get to re-roll the rest and it's uh, it's just a nice fun system locking in these uh, these different frankies so the extra dice in this the the black die and the yellow dice i the die and the dice yeah <laughs> i'm just gonna intermingle my terms for singular dice uh, but yeah th they work in really interesting ways i think but at the same time as them being interesting and being able to appreciate them in action i think they are kind of hurdles to people discovering the game and and enjoying it really it kind of they kind of get in the way in our experience i do apologize a knock at the door could have been an exciting new game arriving but it was a salesman so the black die you lock this in just in any regular die you can just lock it in on its own and the number that it has you need to have that many heads at the end of it so say i've rolled a four i need to have four green or purple heads at the end of my rolling and then i roll the black die and if I have rolled higher than the number it was, then I will get that many points. So up to eight points. If I roll lower, then I multiply the number I rolled by the original number. And so I can potentially get loads, especially if I push my luck and lock in a load of heads. You know, if you lock in eight heads, chances are you're going to roll lower than that and get a really, really big score. You know, it's all about pushing your luck. The yellow die is nice because you have to lock it in at some point if you don't lock it in in its usual way then you score nothing for the round so it's another element of risk of pushing your luck so when you lock in the yellow die you also need to lock in a number of dice based on the number that's on the yellow die so if it's a four on the l you need to also lock in four dice with it those dice are excluded from your normal scoring from your normal sets and the points from the black dice at the end of the round you will roll those dice that were locked in with the yellow dice and for every Frankie that you can make from them, so the power and the red or the power and a set of two greens or purples, for every one that you can make, you will get the number of points that is on the yellow die. And so it can be another way of pushing your luck that if you roll an eight on the yellow die, you can lock in all of those other dice and potentially score a low because there is a bonus as well for there's a full Frankie bonus for locking for using all of your dice to make uh, Frankies with so potentially can have loads and loads of points but could potentially score nothing if you just roll no power for example you can't make any Frankies then uh, so yeah and, and if you don't lock it in so if you lock it if you lock in the yellow when it's at a zero you don't have to lock in anything else with it and it's fine and you are safe but if you didn't lock in the yellow die and you are forced to lock it in, say it's got a five on it and you've only got three black dice left, then you're going to score nothing for this round for absolutely everything. So yeah, it's, it's, it's pulling you into risking your points with it. But if you don't manage to roll a low number and you have used your dice for other things, you are just stuck uh, because you can't use dice that you've already locked in, even if they're just for Frankies. So I do, like I said, I do appreciate and like those little intricacies of it but i feel like the the first half of the game it's and yeah it's, it's it's a bit of a shame that i'm saying like part of it i wouldn't be happy with because i would think it was too light and 
because of the just the basic Frankie matching, and then because of the yellow and black dice rules, and you can you can ignore the black dice if you want to remove that out and make it a simpler game, and you can make it a bit shorter by making the points target a little bit less. But yeah, the the black and yellow dice I think kind of overcomplicate it. They don't turn it into a really you know complex game, but I I just feel like as soon as we were reading it in the rules and then trying to explain it. Yeah, it, it just comes up as this strange uh, road bump in you know, a pretty smooth linear that, yeah, sets Frankie's really, really easy to get to grips with. I know how to do that. And then black dice. So I don't I don't have to set the black die with any other dice, but I need to by the end of the round. But the yellow dice I do need to set with other things. And yeah, it doesn't feel as complicated just explaining it out loud now. But for a, essentially a fun, simple dice game, yeah, I, I just it, it feels out of place. It doesn't feel like those two halves mesh together really well. And uh, yeah, I, I think that if it just had the Frankie matching, it would be really light, probably uh, too light for us, but just nice trying to find sets, pushing your luck and seeing if you can uh, find more. But it would be maybe a little bit too simple because have I got a set? If not, re-roll the rest of the dice and carry on until I do find one. And while I do like those, I, I like the idea behind both the yellow and the black dice, I don't feel like they, I don't feel like they come across well in this. And yeah, it, it feels like two kind of halves that don't match. But yeah, fra the playthrough is there for you to make your own mind up. And uh, yeah, I, I believe this is based on another game as well. This is a re-implementation. So I'd be, I'd be interested in going back and seeing what uh, the other version was like and whether it had those uh, black and yellow dice in it as well. But anyway, thanks for watching and I'll see you for the next game. Bye everyone.